Hi Aquarius, welcome back. My twin sister and I are twin oracles here on YouTube. Thank you for being with us here today. Unfortunately, my sister couldn't make it, but she sends you all of her love. Mwah. Hi Aquarius, how are things going? How is life treating you? We hope you are doing well. Wishing you nothing but the best. We are back again to do another reading for you. This one will be for mid-December. However, it's our intention that it is a timeless reading, meaning whenever this video finds you Aquarius, whether you watch it today, tomorrow, four years from now, it does not matter. When it finds you and knocks on your door, that's when it will most resonate with you. With that being said, it is also a general reading. So please feel free to take what does resonate and leave and release to the next viewers what does not resonate with you and if you hear me say he she him her it they etc reverse the roles if and whenever need be with that being said let us give a moment of thanks okay um please insert whatever you it whatever it is you believe in or however you identify with okay dear god source spirit universe love Thank you for all of your blessings. We're grateful and thankful to be here together today, communing with you. Thank you for all of our provisions, big and small. We are grateful for them all. Thank you for the food in our tummies, the clothing on our backs, the roofs over our heads. Especially thank you for our, our loved ones around us on a daily basis. Help us to not take anyone or anything for granted. And most of all, we're grateful and thankful, allowing us the opportunity to wake up this morning breathing because not everyone did. For all of this, we're grateful and we love you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let us hop into your reading. Before we do so, Aquarius, I was picking up a message of needing to make a decision of some sort. You're stuck. You're stuck. Comment down below, Aquarius, what is it you're stuck about? Needing to make a decision between two things, two or three things, not knowing which way to turn, not knowing which way to go, not knowing who to go to. There's also a theme of um, perhaps leaving someone behind or leaving something behind or moving or leaving a job or, you know, having a breakup in some way, shape or form, leaving someone or something behind. And there's also an, a, a theme of a new beginning for you here, okay? Um, you know, reinventing yourself, having a new life, um, you know, going on a different journey, on a different um, up-leveling onto a higher vibration, moving higher, okay? And again, needing to make this decision. There's a choice or there's a decision needing to um, be made here. All right, let's see what is going on with Aquarius. Aquarius, let us see. Now we will be doing a Christmas reading as well for you. Um, for those of you that are interested, stay tuned. Be sure to hit that notification bell though, so that way you don't lose this channel. And so you're advised of the Christmas upload once it is ready. All right, you start your reading Aquarius with the Four of Cups. Sorry, the Four of Wands. For some of you, um, you know, life, you've been waiting for this moment in life, okay? Maybe you've been bored in life. Maybe life has felt dull. Um, but there's some up leveling here, okay? The Four of Wands represents celebration. It can represent meeting the love of your life. It can represent... Um, you know, going to a reception of some sort or a party of some sort or some kind of celebration. You could be meeting someone here. It can also represent uh, security, stability, something within the home here. So Aquarius, there's some kind of celebration going with in your home. For one of you, I'm picking up that perhaps you've lost a loved one and our hearts go out to you, our condolences if this is the case for you. But for majority of you, thank God it's not. This is a happy home um, celebration of some sort within the home, okay? Some of you could be purchasing a home. Some of you could be moving to a new home. For, for some of you, you're finally finding that place 
that feels like home, a place to call your own, okay? So this is beautiful energy. Another four. All right, next you have the four of pentacles. So for some of you, you could be 44 years old. Others of you, you could be 43 years old, but this next year is gonna be quite significant for you. You know, things are gonna start rolling for you, moving in the right direction, flowing. Abundance is flowing, love is flowing, community is flowing, connection with flow is flowing. You're gonna start having loved ones around you here, especially with the first card out with the four of wands. Communing, connecting, having those, you know, friends, loved ones, around you that got your back that support you through thick and thin no matter what okay for some of you um you could be receiving an inflow of money okay as noted here at the bottom of the card here with all that money so you are being asked to invest your money wisely i'm picking up if you're a Capricorn cusp, or if you're highly, as highly aspected with Capricorn in your chart, that you could be coming across some money. It doesn't have to be money. It can be gifts. It can be love. It can be, um, you know, something that makes your heart sing. It can be a spiritual gift that you're receiving. But I I'm sensing the bounty, abundance, flow, prosperity coming into your life here. But again, invest your money wisely. But do keep in mind the energy of reciprocity. So the energy of give and the energy of take, okay? So if you are receiving um, some money here, do donate to some charitable cause or, you know, help a loved one out, help a stranger out. Um, you know, do some random acts of kindness, paint things forward, um, and acts of gifts is a beautiful thing to do at this time as well if you have received an inflow. Others of you, Aquarius, it feels like someone will be giving you money, okay? Next card out, you have the Strength card. The Strength card talks about um, being brave, um, having determination, courage, fortitude, resilience. It also talks about you know, taming your ego, okay? So, not allowing fear to get the best of you, um, you know, healing through things such as anxiety, stress, anxiousness, uh, depression. I feel like you've come out of some kind of a battle here, Aquarius. And you've come out of the battle stronger than ever before. And I feel that's why you're receiving this Four of Wands here. There's some kind of victory or balance coming into your life here. Things are sorting themselves out. Life is beginning to flow for you. Others of you, you could be meeting a Leo in your life. Or there could have been, I feel, a Leo in your life that was trying to hold you back or was trying to hold on to you. Perhaps this is the decision that you're being asked to make for some of you. Um, perhaps, you know, needing to leave someone behind. Perhaps you walking on, moving away from a Leo here. It doesn't have to be a Leo, but that's the energy that I'm picking up here, especially with the strength card. So for some of you, mustering up the strength, the courage, the willpower, and determination for you to move on from someone or move on from something. That's why the strength card is here, for you to have that courage, that willpower to do this and needing to make that decision to do this for once and for all. Next you have... The Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is exactly that. The Queen of Swords is someone who uses discernment. Someone who does not make a decision through their emotions. The Queen of Swords is someone that makes their decisions through logical thinking, through practicality, um, you know, thinking logically, putting emotions aside. 
seeing things for what they are and making a sound decision based on truth, based on facts, based on evidence. Now, the Queen of Swords could represent someone that um, is going through a divorce or a separation or some kind of legal matter here. It also represents um, a widower, okay, a widow, someone who is widowed, okay, male or female, doesn't matter. And the Queen of Swords can also represent, um, you know, cutting someone out of your life. And I really feel you could be removing someone or something out of your life. For some of you, you could be removing someone out of your life. Others of you, it could be removing, for example, um, an addiction out of your life. Something that you've been over trying to overcome, for example, fear, anxiety, sadness, depression, stress, you could be trying to cut that out of your life, okay, if it's not a person. It could be a move, it could be um, changing jobs, it could be anything here, okay, but you're trying to muster up the courage to make the decision, to make the choice, to change something in your life here, Aquarius, okay? So interesting, this does coincide with the channel message I received. Now, I did forget to mention, today we are working with the Sanctus Concordia Tarot deck, which is absolutely gorgeous. This is available through Etsy. Check out Christopher Lee's shop there. It is so beautiful. There's so much to choose from, and it's beautiful work, and he's just beginning, so I'm very thankful for this deck. It was previously called um, the Harmony deck, okay? Um, with that being said, let us hop into getting some clarifiers for you, Aquarius, from the Sacred Light Oracle deck. <clears throat> Going with the gold theme here, okay? God, what does Aquarius need to know? What does Aquarius need to see and hear? Just one moment. Okay. Some of you are going through a phoenix rising here. A rebirth. Okay, and I was picking that up on the channel message as well. A rebirth. And I feel like you're rising from the ashes here, especially with this line in the backdrop. You're truly rising from the ashes. Ashes. <laughs> and I just heard the name Ashley. You could be called Ashley. Um, or there's someone in your life that's dear to you named Ashley. Or you could be interested in the Ashley. I feel you're going to be rewarded for the courage and for the willpower and determination and drive to uproot, to uplift your life as you find it now and to move on. To move on from someone thing or some someone or something, you will be rewarded for this. Okay, so oh wow, this is this is unbelievable. Okay. All right, I just needed to take a moment there to breathe. Aquarius, the reason why I'm saying it's unbelievable is this was the exact same card, first card out for Capricorn's reading. And Capricorn's reading was called Game Over, New Luxurious, Abundant, Happy, Prosperous, and Abundant Life's here for you, okay? So, you may want to pause this video, open up a new YouTube page, and type in Capricorn Tarot Mid-December 2023 Twin Oracles, and you will find the video for Capricorn. I did mention in this reading, some of you could be either heavily aspected on the, Cap on the Capricorn cusp, or you could be dealing with the Capricorn, um, but there's something here with Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, okay? The reason why I say that is because this was the first card out in their reading when we clarified their reading. And it feels as though it's very similar to your energy here, Aquarius. As in, there's some kind of ending. There's some kind of new beginning. Rewards are coming for you. You're God's chosen. You're an empath or a starseed or an earth angel. 
you know, however you identify yourself with. And, you know, I'm hearing like, God will work fire with fire and you're God chosen, you're God's chosen one. And that's why you have so much strength and courage and willpower and drive inside of you. Although you might not think so, it is there. It is there and you will come out of this stronger than before, whatever it is you're battling, whatever it is you're going through. And, you know, for some of you, there were secrets kept from you, um, either from a loved one or a family member. Others of you, um, you, you were misunderstood by majority of the people in your life. Um, and you could have spent a lot of time or most of your life alone because you were so misunderstood, okay? And you were very quiet and to yourself, um, you know, in a hermit mode, isolated, you know, seeking the answers from within here, okay? I do feel that for some of you, not all of you, there was someone in your life or some people in your life working against you, doing things behind your back, stabbing you, betrayal. Um, for some of you, a small group of you, there could have been, you know, spell work or magic work, you know, low vibrational energy, you know, tried to, like low vibrational energy that someone tried to impose on you, but that's all being rectified now and that will be returned to sender, okay? God is here and God will take care of all of this for you and you are about to be blessed. But I do see for some of you, someone in your life or people in your life, could be even family, could be a loved one, a relationship, Someone in your life or people in your life here with the Queen of Swords, you thought that they loved you. Even if they were family, you thought blood was blood and blood was thicker than anything. Just to be um, disappointed and realize that that's not the case. That's not the truth. And you struggled with this. You struggled with being misunderstood your whole life. You struggled with being a black sheep for some of you. Okay, But keeping who you are... Um, keep going. You've got this and you have some kind of spiritual gift that is awakening within you. Okay. Some kind of a spiritual gift for some of you, you're musically inclined. Others of you, you're a healer. Um, there's something that you're going to be able to move forward with. Okay. Maybe it's a hobby. Maybe it's a spiritual gift, but you're going to move forward and move on with this. Okay. You know, I was picking up Lord Mikhailzadek in the beginning of this reading, and I should have mentioned it, but I failed to do so. The next card out you have is indecision, okay? For some of you, the number 33 could be of significance. You could be 33, you could be 22, you could be um, 23 years old, or your birthday falls on the 22nd or the 23rd, or a fatherly figure or a masculine figure in your life has a birthday on the 22nd or on the 23rd. Place it how it resonates for you in your life. Maybe your birthday is on the 22nd or on the 23rd. However, here we have indecision, okay? And that was the channeled message. Not knowing which way to turn, not knowing which way to go, where to go, who to turn to. You also have ego-based actions. So this was overcoming the ego, as I mentioned earlier, as well. Overcoming the mind, letting go of fear, all right? And lifestyle change is next. So needing to make a decision to change something in your life. So this really does sum up quite beautifully, quite nicely, um, the channeled message, as well as this reading as a whole, Aquarius, okay? It really sums it up nicely, and it does represent you taking back your power, you making the decisions, finally, that need to be made, you taking actions that um, are long overdue, making new choices, changing things in your life in order to receive new things, better things, bigger things in your life, new opportunities, and in order for you to be blessed, to receive your rewards, to receive your blessings, making room for it, okay? So there is a phoenix rising here. You do have to make the decision to let go of things of your past, letting go of people, things, situations, even items, tangible items, removing things, clutter out of your life. If you haven't used something in six months to a year, you can let it go. And always use your intuition and thank the item for being in your life first and coming to terms with it and then releasing it when it's time, okay? This is beautiful, Aquarius. And I, I am picking up, though, that this, there's... Some of you really do struggle with anxiety, okay? Some of you have a hard time breathing at times, okay? 
Next you have Archangel Michael. Wow, this is beautiful. Heart of a warrior, divine protection and synchronicity. And synchronicity signs, synchronicities, and um, serendipities also came out in the Capricorn reading as well, if you want to check that out. Archangel Michael here, I'm really connecting with the Queen of Swords. Um, normally, Archangel Michael is depicted with a sword, um, God's strongest warrior. So you are protected. You are a chosen one. You are a light being. You are a light worker. You are a lighthouse as sacred one, a divine being, a star seed, however you resonate, okay? And that's why you've always been protected by Archangel Michael. Perhaps you see a lot of ravens around, a lot of crows around. That's a reminder telling you that your ancestors are here for you and around here for you. Your guardian angels have been trying to talk to you. Um, you might notice signs like 1111, 1212, 111, master numbers repeating themselves. The number three could be of significance for you. Perhaps you're coming into, um, you know, starting to have your soul group around you, which could involve two or three people or more. But you are definitely a warrior here and you're definitely protected, okay? You're one of God's divine beings here, helping, here to help humanity, okay? And you have the heart of a lion and the strength of a warrior. And that's why you have the strength card out here because you are a warrior and you are protected and you're on a very specific, very, very specific, a very sacred journey here in your life. Okay, Aquarius, don't underestimate who you are. You got so much power, so much potential inside of you. You're about to meet the heart within you, that, that courage and the strength and the power that resides inside your heart and your soul. You're going to shock yourself. You won't even believe it yourself. A lot of you Aquarius, you can really be attuned to Archangel Michael um, or connected to um, Chalcedek. You are, for some of you, I'm picking up very strong, especially with the Queen of Swords, especially with Archangel Michael and Lord Melchizedek. For some of you, you have a spiritual gift. As I was mentioned earlier, you have gifts and talents that are untapped potentials here. And for some of you, you could be a channeler. You channel messages. You channel messages from beings or messages from Archangel Michael, or you channel messages from um, Lord Melchizedek or from someone, okay? You channel messages from a higher being, a higher power, a higher source. And you're very connected to God. You're very connected to your higher self, the, to the divinity that lies within you, okay? So for some of you, it's beautiful. You have a spiritual gift of channeling. I love that energy. I love this reading for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I will leave it there. Um, thank you all for watching. Thank you for liking this video upon exiting. It really helps us grow. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Please comment down below. Are you connected to Archangel Michael? Are you connected to Lord Melchizedek? Who is it that inspires you, that drives you? Be sure to comment down below. We love reading all your comments. And also be sure to hit that notification bell. That way you don't lose this channel. Stay tuned to our festivity video coming up for you, Aquarius. We love you Mwah! ever so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Happy holidays to you. Until the next time. Bye for now.